Hi, it's the Brooker That Gratitude Guy. Today, separation anxiety. Yesterday I dropped off my son at school 1,300 miles away. I live in Seattle and he's going to school in college, or for college rather, in San Diego. Very, very difficult day. You think about separation anxiety, you think about the times in your life you've had to go your different ways, whether it be uh, friends or divorce or family or college or children or whatever it might be, it's very difficult. In fact, to me, it was, wasn't quite as tough as the day his mother died, my wife. Boy, it was near that area because I remember thinking, this is tough. Another chapter of my life is over, another one about to begin, and always the anxiety around that, in this case, separation anxiety. So, as you might expect, what definitely helped me the most yesterday, and that, for that matter today and for the days forward, is really embracing gratitude. I wrote in my gratitude journal, of course, yesterday and again today, and it really helped because what it does is it reframes and refocuses your mindset into one of all the things that are good, all the things that you're grateful for. I'm so grateful for the 18, 19 years we spent together. Even after losing my wife, after everything we went through, I'm so grateful for how happy and healthy and self-sufficient he is as he heads off to another chapter in his life for college. So think about that when you're going through tough times, whether it's separation, anxiety, the loss of somebody, the loss of a friendship, a job, whatever it is, those things are tough. As we know, life is difficult, but gratitude and embracing gratitude can really help mitigate the effects of loss or separation. Be writing in that gratitude journal. It made a big difference for me yesterday and today and for the days forward. If you've got one, fantastic. If you don't, you can pick one up at thebrooker.com, but be writing it every day. You will see amazing things happen in terms of how you brace yourself and how these things in life that hit us every single day affect you. It'll be so much easier, so much more palatable, if you will, with gratitude. That's it for today. Have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.